Hello, welcome back to the Rag Bhimpalasi sitar lesson series. I'm Will Marsh. We're in the key of D, and we're continuing to add to our Bhimpalasi practice. We've done a few exercises in lessons one and two, and today I want to now address some of the mind, some of the bends that make this rag unique. And you may have heard me playing these already. I haven't quite broken them down. But what I want to do is show them um, very clearly to you in just the ascending and descending pattern of Bimbalasi. And you'll see that these bends are kind of omnipresent in the rag on, on these notes. So let's start with the ascent. We have But to give it more feeling and more character of the rag, we would play. Actually, so these are these means, these touches that I'm adding that are really bringing out uh, more of the mood of the rag. So let's do the first one. Our first phrase is Nisa, but one thing in Bimpalasa you'll see a lot of is approaching Sa, approaching Ni from Sa above, meaning instead of just. We have sunny sa. You'll hear this a lot in in Bimbalasi. So when I'm playing this means, I like to use my first finger because I'm moving up after I play this and continuing. So it's nice to use the first finger, and you really want to listen for the intonation. It's essentially it's a pre bend. You have to grab that saw before you even strike it. And then release. And it's all about the timing of how slowly you release from sa down to knee. If you play it too fast or too slow, it's gotta be right in the middle there. So try this. Listen for that intonation. Nisa, Nisa. Great, so this is a important first step to bringing out the deeper mood of the rag. Now next, we have the same um, shape on ga. So we're approaching ga from the ma above. Ma ga. So this is a, the next important mood. So let's do the same thing with this one. Let's get that intonation precise. We need to get that pre-bend, finding ma, and then releasing it. This, this has a very deep character to it that's played slowly. You don't want to be... Some rags are much more fast in their movements and bends, but Bimbalasi is a, one of the slower. So here we go. Notice I'm using all da strokes on my right hand. All da. Now 
Now moving up, we have the same bend on knee again as we did in the lower octave just up here. But here what I do is I do the bend with my first finger and then I grab sa with my second finger. Mi sa, mi sa, mi sa, mi sa. So if we put this all together, we have our ascent with these precise bends and Let's do it all with da strokes. Um, it's good to practice both with da ra and with da, but in the alap and jor sections, we use all da's. So here I'm doing all da to just um, have more powerful strokes. So here we go. Let's try this ascent with the means. One, two, three, four. Good, so yeah, it's a great feeling when you start getting these precise. It really captures such a mood um, with this rock. So that's our ascent. Let's go to our descent. So often in Bimpalasi, when we're playing descending, we'll approach Ma from the Ga below. So it's just the reverse of what we did on the way up. We did, and here we'll do, So this will be our mean on our descent. We have So first let's just get this bend from ga. So here what's happening is we're bending up to ma and then striking. So let's put the whole descent. Great, now you see the full ascending and descending with these means. Let's do it all together now from the Arohi. Join me. One, two, three, four.
Great, so I want you to practice this and be really precise with these bends. Uh, get the hang of them and, and it'll really add to your um, connection to this rog. So this will conclude our lesson for today, lesson three. It's been great having you today as always. You can like and subscribe to the channel. You'll know when the next class comes out and I'd be happy to work more with you. One of the ways that I can do that is by in-person virtual lessons. You can check those out on my website, willmarshmusic.com, and I'll see you on the next class. Thank you.